Correct. Yep. And so you're a bigger fan of using the urinary DNA, correct? It's the best one. I think it's the most accurate. I'm open to the other ones, but I just find more, more good. It seems to just show uh, false. Um, Igenix and some of these other fancier ones. Yes. Uh, Armin Labs. I've looked at those too, and I still find the DNA urine to find even more. Yeah. The big issue I have with some of those is everyone tests positive at some level. And so then it's like, well, if everyone's positive, then no one's positive, right? It's, it becomes like a point of like, well, where is it helpful if everyone's positive? Yeah, and the and reference so ranges are quite confusing on those as well versus the DNA. It's either going to be a positive, it's going to be indeterminate, meaning the size of the organism was weird or pretty much not at all. Where, like you said on the Armin, you could have three different reference ranges. It's like kind of positive, slightly positive, really positive. It's like, man, what do you do with that? And that's what becomes really tough. And that's why... With so many of these patients, I make a note. Okay, great. We're gonna we're gonna table this. We'll come back to it, and we'll see how much better they get within the treatment program as we address all of the foundationals. Right? It's kind of like bowling. Okay, that's like the second row outside pin. Like maybe we've just hit the ball down the middle. Everything knocks over, and those side pins get knocked over too. So that's kind of my thought. Now, if we're not getting results, or the let's say the needle's not moving, then we can always come back to that. Because remember, the gut is where eighty percent of the immune system is. And if you look at, you know, some of the herbs that Stephen Buhner has recommended over the years, we talked about some of them here already. These herbs are going to have a, a massive benefit um, on the gut as well. So whether we're doing crypto, uh, crypt cryptolipus, whether we're doing alcornia, whether we're doing Sida acuta, Bidens, right? Whether we're doing uh, hutunia, right? sarsaparilla, these are all herbs that have been around for a while. Andrographis, astragalus, these are all great herbs that are, have an impact on not just killing the microbes. We also want herbs that actually support the immune system. Astragalus supports the immune system. Rishi mushroom supports the immune system. Ashwagandha supports the immune system. So we want things that also support and tonify the immune system as well as the adrenal glands. And these people also tend to have depleted DHEA sulfate. So their adrenals are depleted. They're making less sex hormones. So they're, they're more in a catabolic state, meaning they're breaking down more than they're building up. So if we just start shifting physiology, more to anabolic versus catabolic, it creates a, a major benefit.